Well, this is Are You Still Down, Remember Me? Uh, which is a lot of stuff that uh, me and Pac did way back in the day, which is like old, old material. Which is like, when we started Thug Life though, that was like, you know, that material. I mean, it was like, kind of dated, but you know, I did what I could to it, you know, at the time, but I was like, fuck it. Let's just go with it and moms put it out. But Feeney was like, fuck it, let's put this shit out. It was best that she did it that way because, you know, put the old material out now, you know, and just get it over with. The new material comes later, so that's how it goes. Are You Still Down Remember Me? This is Are You Still Down Remember Me, which is uh, a lot of old material that we did way back in the day when me and Pac started. Uh, we did this way back after he, uh, he just finished Poetic Justice and we just, you know, did our thing. I did about eight cuts, you know, eight to nine cuts, whatever. And uh, one of the songs that were real popular, though, was Part of Little Liquor. So I don't know if you know about that record, but that's on Above the Rim, stuff like that, you know, movie soundtrack. Which paid a lot of bills though, cause I ain't gonna lie, I damn sure needed the motherfucking money. But it did a, it did a wonderful thing. And if you look at this though, you see memorabilia of like me and Pac right there, you know all that, doing our thing. This was a sketch that was drawn of me and him, which is right here. I got a long ass face. I may look like motherfucking uh, what's my nigga name? Be real. Exactly. <laughs> Be real like a motherfucker. <laughs> But anyway, man, you know, we did our thing. And this is like, you know, this is my memorabilia piece right here, dude. I, I love this shit, though. You got Pac, you know, and you got JFK. You know, you got all, you got everything, man. Marvin Gaye, the whole nine. You know what I mean? This is just the way I, it, the way I think and the way I feel, you know, without Pac. You know what I'm saying? It's the way I feel. I've always felt this way even, you know, before I met him. But after I met him, man, we, you know, we just had that spiritual, you know, kind of vibe. So I've always had, you know, always had a spiritual vibe, man. Always. I was raised Catholic, but... You know, I don't have I don't have a religion, but I believe in God. 